So for today, we're going to be looking at the Solstice of Heroes 2022 armor sets. I should say Solstice. It's just called Solstice now. But we're going to be looking at the armor sets, how they glow. We don't have uh, a picture of how they're not glowed yet. So that's unfortunate. But I will be doing a review of this armor when I get my hands on it. Because, I mean, obviously my thoughts are probably going to be a little bit different when I actually have the armor set in front of my face. But from my initial impressions, I guess this is just an impressions video either way. But... Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys like the armor set? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to have a conversation with you guys because I don't know how, how, how to feel about this armor set. Don't get me wrong. There's pieces that I actually will use a lot, but we'll, we'll talk about this right now. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe really does help because a huge portion of people are not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, subscribe, that would very, really, that'd be very much appreciated. Obviously, if you only like the video, but other than that, let's get into it. So this is the armor for Solstice uh, 2022. I am not the biggest fan of this armor. I I can tell you um, I can tell you so many reasons why I'm not a fan of this armor, but I'll give that to you once we're done talking about the armor itself. So we're gonna be looking at the hunter first, then Titan, then Warlocks respectively. That's how I usually do it. And let me straight just say this off the bat. Uh, whoever keeps designing armor sets for hunters that gives us asymmetrical arms. Uh, why are you doing this, bro? Why do you do this? We have so much armor in this game that's already asymmetrical. We don't need more. Stop it. Get some help. Uh, but other than that, I'm... To be fair, I don't like the arms at all for the hunter. I'm going to just straight, straight up tell you. I think the arms are terrible. Uh, let me straight off go off the bat with it's asymmetrical to start off with. Uh, the cuffs on the hand are way too big. I think it's way too big and it just looks kind of bulky and square. Uh, the fact that the forearm, there's one side that has engraving and the, the other side doesn't. Another asymmetrical problem. And that's really it, honestly. If, if we had another bird on the shoulder like the left arm has on the other side, I actually wouldn't mind this. Uh, and if the engraving on the forearm was on the other side, I actually like if it was symmetrical, I actually wouldn't mind this because it would look cool. But because it's asymmetrical on both sides, I'm just kind of like, OK, I'm done. I, do, I don't care anymore. And the cuffs really bug me. Um, the boots, on the other hand, are actually probably the best part from this whole set. It's kind of as, it's kind of asymmetrical. I'm not going to lie because of the cloth on the right uh, thigh, but for me, if it's some, if it's symmetrical, like if the main parts are symmetrical, like it has the same armor pieces and it does certain things right, then I don't really care. Like one of my favorite chess pieces is asymmetrical technically because it has a, a fox fur on the left. I don't remember which leg it is, but <clears throat> hopefully I'll show you guys right now. This is like one of my favorite chess pieces and it is asymmetrical to an extent, but the main pieces are symmetrical. So that's what I'm trying to say. Like these boots, perfect. I love them. I'm going to use them. The chest piece I will use as well. My only gripe with it is the marking on the top left kind of looks like a collar, which is kind of weird, but that's probably just me being weird. We don't know how this armor looks unglowed yet. So I'm going to reserve my judgment on how that's going to look. But with the glows, I'm going to tell you right now, the glows look disappointing to me they look terrible uh for the cloak i hate that we got another mohawk cloak mostly because it just doesn't make sense to me like why would you have a hunk of iron on your cloak it just doesn't make sense unless you tape your cloak to your helmet like it just it pisses me off is what i'm trying to say so i'm not the biggest fan of mohawk uh cloaks so i'm immediately probably never gonna wear this and the fact that the cloak has a a rising cloth cloak uh cloth on the front also means i'm probably never gonna use this for the helmet it's probably the most normal helmet from this whole set from all the years actually like it it looks pretty basic in my opinion like nothing too crazy nothing too wild uh that's pretty much it for the hunters let me hunters let me know what you guys think again i'm not the biggest fan of this like don't get me wrong uh the chess piece i'm already thinking about combining that with the season of the lost cloak the uh season pass armor because it has uh like robes and whatnot or not robes but cloth as well and then maybe combine it with the neo neoteric uh arms because that also has cloth on the arms other than that yeah the hunter hunter armor set's fine i think it's the best one personally because the other two just do not impress me at all uh titans let me get let me let me start off right up like let me just let me just start off with saying 
I apologize for those arms. Those arms look terrible. Those arms look terrible. I'm sorry whoever designed this. It's just they look bad. They really look bad. The shoulder pieces specifically. The gauntlets, uh, they look fine. They look really cool. It's just the shoulder pads look really bad. Uh, helmet looks okay. I Again, I'm not the biggest fan of like a mohawk thing. Uh, especially considering like from the side this looks really weird as well it just i don't know it doesn't it doesn't scream titan to me it screams more like warlock or not even no yeah it screams more warlock to me than anything else i think the best pieces from this whole set is going to be the boots and the mark i think the mark looks really cool it's one of the few pieces that it's is pure cloth at least that's what it looks like to me it looks really cool i'm definitely going to wear the mark a lot for the boots, it also looks really cool. My only gripe with it is it make like the thighs and the legs look really small compared to the actual feet, which is a big problem that female Titans have. They always have that problem with armor, spe specifically armor that looks like this. So it kind of pisses me off that they didn't address that because you could have easily just made the tips of the feet and the bottom or whatever just armor so the fact that there you just have shoes at the bottom just kills it for me uh the chest piece is okay but it's kind of boring and again for those of you who have been watching my content for a while you know you will know that i think a titan looks best when their ch when their chest piece is really bulky Con and when i say bulky i mean more in the back so that way it looks like you're a hulking tank and not like like you're wearing a small piece piece of armor plate that can easily be penetrated by a tic tac like i just i'm not a fan of the, the chest piece so for me personally the mark and the boots are going to be the best pieces from this and last but not least we have the warlocks now i apologize warlocks because i think everything looks trash <laughs> so let me let me actually explain my thoughts and not just say it's trash here's the thing i'm not the biggest fan of the chest piece because it looks strange and i'm also not the biggest fan of the chest piece not having uh pauldrons and i don't mean like titans i don't mean like getting big pauldrons like that i just mean something like that covers your whole shoulder because it just makes no sense just to cover like 20 percent of your shoulder when it's armor you should be covered uh the other thing is the chest plate thing looks really weird it just doesn't look good in my opinion again people are gonna love it people are gonna hate it let me know in the comments below i just think the chest piece looks really weird and for warlocks especially you have to you have to really make a good chest piece because that's like 80 percent of your fashion right there uh the boots are probably gonna be the best piece i'm not gonna lie it looks really good it looks like they actually cared to make something cool because usually warlocks have really boring boots and i can show you thousands of examples because it's terrible as for the arms the arms are pretty cool actually i did not notice how cool they were I, again it's because we don't have a non-glow look so i thought that was part of the armor but the arms are actually really cool really good uh really good armored pieces i will actually use this one a lot more than the boots i think the boots are really cool too i actually like the arms a lot i don't know why well it's probably because it has a lot of armor we usually don't see that the only problem that these arms are gonna have is that for some weird reason warlock warlock arms uh they kind of clip sometimes uh hopefully i can show you guys an example right now but if this goes over the elbow which i don't think it does then it won't be a problem but if it doesn't go over the elbow then there will be a problem because at the elbow there is that's where it connects the armor from arm to to chest piece so there's some instances where it's just nothing there there it just it doesn't clip it all the way in so if that has that problem i'm gonna get mad if it doesn't and it's, it's good then but this 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 arm is going to be really good for a piece that has a lot of armor which for warlocks you don't have a lot but you do have like one or two i think as for the helmet i think it looks pretty boring um nothing really crazy if it had the bird head thing that the titans had then maybe i would have actually you know what the hunt the warlock and the titan really should have switched helmets because the warlock helmet looks a lot better for the helmet or for the titan than the titan it's it's just weird like 
I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Personally, again, like I said, the only pieces that you're going to be really using, at least I should probably say the pieces I will be using is the boots for everyone except the Titan, maybe uh, the Hunter. We're going to we're going to use a few pieces for the Hunter. We're going to use the chest piece. We're going to use the boots and maybe the helmet. Actually, the helmet most likely because the helmet is very versatile, at least from what I'm seeing so far. For the tight end, we're going to be using the mark and maybe the boots and maybe the chest piece. The warlock, we're going to be using the arms, the boots, and the helmet. That's it. I think the chest piece is terrible. And I think the bond is. I don't want to say terrible, but I'm definitely thinking it. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As for the glows, man, man, let me tell you guys, I have never seen a glow that i was like i'm not picking this up i'm i don't want to pick this up like it just looks terrible like and when i say terrible i don't mean the color because that was last year's problem uh 20 solstice 2021 the main problem was that the shader did not go well with the previous shaders or the previous glows from previous solstices so this doesn't look like that has that problem. It looks like it's going to glow the same. The problem is just that the glows look bad. Uh, let's talk about, okay. We're again, we'll go from Hunter to Titan to Warlock hunters. The only pieces that I actually really, really don't like is just the cloak and the arm specifically the left arm. I just don't like the, like, like the birds throwing fire. It just looks terrible the legs also have this weird line thing i'm not the biggest fan of that uh for the titans again the bird on the helmet throwing fire and then the two wings on the side is so fucking weird that is such a warlock thing and then again i'm just not the biggest fan of the lines thing um for the warlocks again the mohawk thing is just kind of so played out that i'm just kind of like of course you gave us another mohawk uh, the shoulders having that glow is okay, I guess. I, I'm much more of a fan when the glow is actually inside the armor. Or if you do it like the previous uh, solstices where there's like, oh, that's actual fire coming out. Well, I guess they're trying to invoke that. Oh, this is fire from the bird throwing fire. But it just looks weird, I guess. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again. I will probably not pick up the, the glows just because they really do not interest me. But at the same time, I should pick them up because A, that's free content that I can just make a video on. But it's also the fact that there's there are pieces of this armor set that I actually would fuck with. Like specifically the boots for the hunter, the chest piece for the hunter, and then maybe the arms if I'm like feeling spicy and can ignore the asymmetry. For the Titans, I really like the boots, the glow for the boots. They look really good. The help, the chest piece also looks really good. And then for the Warlock, um, yeah, what about the, actually, no, the boots look pretty cool with it too, but I, that's pretty much it. Uh, the arms, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of that, like that weird, like fat tip at the end. I don't know. Either way, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. I, I'm just going to keep saying the same thing, but yeah, uh, be safe and I'll see you guys later.